Krix is here and welcome to this week's video! Today <laughs> I'm gonna talk about my journey of different paint mediums. How I will structure this video is I will start from the beginning and explain every single medium I have tried starting from my professional high school. Like paint as like acrylic gouache, watercolor, oil paints and just my personal opinion about all of those mediums in the world which I have tried. Hey, <laughs> this is super talky video so please grab yourself a tea or coffee or any drink you would love to drink and join me to this uh, amazing talk about different paint mediums and supplies. So, I started my professional high school in 2010. <laughs> in 2010. <laughs> that was hard to remember. I got myself the first paint, which was gouache, and it was like these small um, containers of uh, gouache by Saints Petersburg's colors, and I think. Janjevska Palitra was the brand. I don't remember, was it like specific under brand? Like the name for that gouache, uh, but yeah, I hated that gouache. So basically that gouache was really uh, chalky when it dried and also when it dried it changes color a bit. I think it became a little bit lighter than I thought it will be. So it was like super chalky, it felt like um, if you are renovating a house, it felt like you are using the paint <laughs> from there into your painting. And also, although it, they weren't that expensive, I, I don't know, like the quality when it dried and when you touched the paper, it was super chalky, so I wasn't fan of that. So. That was like the first medium I tried and uh, in the next year, in the second course of that high school, we could choose to continue with gouache or uh, try watercolors and I was like, yeah, <laughs> just take my bot, bot hands, I want to go and explore watercolor world. So we had really good teacher, she was, um, she was painter herself, but she was really good at, uh, I think, oil painting, but she had some knowledge in watercolor as well, and she said, buy really good paints, and even though I was just starting out, I bought quite good paints, which were also from the same Russian brand, Nyevske Palitra, uh, but these were White Knights, so I think they had different um, levels, and this was artist grade. They also had Luch, which was a little bit lower, and Sonnet, uh, which was even lower. So Sonnet was like super cheap. Okay, for the watercolors, I bought White Knights, which was quite good um, level of watercolor. And these are still like these babies here are. Uh, nine years old, so I have my mini watercolor collection and what I like about these colors is that they are really natural colors, they don't look super vibrant and bright, so this is like super great palette for really dull or muted colors, so I still sometimes used it, but that was like my year with these watercolors and as they were so expensive, I was so afraid to use them super quickly. So I tried to use them like like one or two drops of paint and then just <laughs> trying to put it on the page. So yes, but the thing was that I, although I had really good paints, I didn't buy the best paper. And I think that was my mistake because um, like, I thought, okay, you have good paint, that's it. But actually, paper is also quite important if you paint with watercolors. So I had like super cheap uh, paper, which you can buy in any store, like any grocery, big uh, supermarket. And I, I used it <laughs> for watercolors. 
and that was my mistake and I used it for almost whole year until we went to planner which is um, basically you spend one to two weeks in different city and draw every day uh, outside from the nature and then I don't know why <laughs> I decided okay I'm gonna buy good paper and I bought good paper and the first day I tried it I felt like I was so good at watercolor <laughs> because I painted so bad badly for a year and then I got the new paper and I was really confident and happy how it turned out so this was my second year in the third year of high school we had this oil color magic <laughs> and basically yeah all oil colors were the the, the best thing <laughs> basically so I I bought a lot of oil colors I actually I still have a collection so I, I I took it here because I thought maybe I will use it somewhere I haven't used it it's dusty do you see the dust it's like this is a I actually forgot this is like easel transportable easel um, in Russian it's a chudnik I think so you see like this is all it's really disgusting it was under the the bed in the the um the corner where you can't reach it that easily so yes i think i will what i will do i will talk and i will quickly wipe it before i open it because i don't want the dust fall on the floor so just bear with me for a second I thought the oil colors are the best paint there is and I felt that it's the best medium for me as well because I I was quite slow at painting in the first and second course and I thought okay like oil paints is the medium that everyone talks about and that they say that it's really good for uh, people who are really slow at this so I, I'm still I'm still slow I was slow back then as well when I painted so I thought okay this is uh, this is like perfect so yeah I basically was super hooked even before I started so <laughs> Ta -da! so yeah i i really like this one as well i got it second hand and i felt it's really good purchase because i always dreamed about having one of these portable easels and yeah i still like all the colors some of the colors are quite old oh no wait nothing is here <laughs> okay so nothing is here <laughs> apparently i didn't know that i took all the colors out okay well it still smells like oil and super old so i colored the inside um blue this was my favorite color and it still is i really like how it looks and uh, yeah i painted it but paints are not here so probably the the paints are where the acrylic is I was going to open it when I talked about the acrylics, but oh, never mind. I think the best paints I had was uh, Masterclass, which are um, also Russian brand. But I, I had a mix of them. I had a lot of different brands. And... Oh. <laughs> this is a little bit disgusting. Okay, oil colors are in here, okay? <laughs> and yeah, basically, I this was like the best paint for me in that period. I painted it uh, in a professional high school for, um, how long was it? Yeah, two years in professional high school. And when I came to Latvian Academy of Art, I continued to paint with uh, oil color and I did not only still life drawings but I also did uh, drawings where I uh, was doing nude drawings, nude paintings 
and also uh, outside like observational paintings basically drawing and uh, painting nature so yeah i was super excited and happy and i did it for the postgraduate undergraduates as well so i think in total i spent six years painting with oil color and yeah i kind of stopped when i went when i finished my course and when i went to erasmus i no one was like painting with oil or so on and I, I used a lot of different mediums but there were like more like drawing mediums so when I did oil paintings I also did some acrylic paintings and I wanted to try acrylics because I thought it's super fascinating uh, to draw something and it dries super quickly and it was a little bit struggling for me to start uh, painting with um, acrylics because I thought acrylic has this one thing that it dries super quick and uh, it's usually super glossy as well and even though I didn't mind the glossy part I was really skeptical about the, the fat like the, the time it dries because I loved what I loved about oil paints. I could always go back and change some things, and and it dried so slowly, and I really liked it. So when it was time to try acrylics, I bought a lot of uh, a lot of colors, and I also did some planners outside. And even though they were really good as sketching uh, medium, I didn't felt that this is the right medium for me. And I think I also in that period tried a little bit more of watercolors again. But yeah, I, I basically, I wasn't sure if, if what do I like the best. And then of course, like I really wanted to be an illustrator, but I didn't thought that I will do illustration using like paint as the base medium of my illustrations. That was kind of till I started Masters in Children's Book Illustration and we had a lot of guest lectures and some of the lecturers were talking about the mediums they're using and I noticed that some of them mentioned gouache and when someone mentioned gouache I had like the flashbacks of a really awful experience as like first year art student in high school and I was like no this is like crazy but then I noticed also some of my course mates also had like wash and I was like um, maybe it's not that bad maybe it's it's all right so what I did is um, I bought where are they yeah I bought like these ones which are um, I don't know if it will be visible um, uh, it's basically Windsor & Newton designer's gouache and I tried them and I was like oh they're like watercolors but not really they're like acrylic but not really and I was like yeah there's something between and what I realized is uh, they're acting like watercolors watercolors although they're opaque and I was like yeah I like it because what I struggled with watercolors is uh, sometimes my drawings were super dull and um, mushy and not the effect I wanted and I was really struggling to fix some things so I always thought like if I had like more opaque uh, or control over the paint then I would be better so I was super curious about uh, designer's gouache and when I tried I only bought three colors because that's how scared I was and I bought I think white, uh, ultramarine and burnt sienna and with these three colors you already can mix a lot of things I used only three colors for a month it was like more challenge because I was like I'm not going to buy more I need to try how they are reacting because <laughs> if you know me <laughs> if I like one thing if I like one art supply I'm willing to buy 20 more of that kind so if I like like one marker I'm going to buy a lot of them I had my Copic period when they're like super ex expensive markers and I bought like two and then I bought 20 
and now I have 60 and I don't use them because I, my period of them is over so it's the same with every single medium so of course I bought more of designer squash because I was like oh yeah this is good I'm gonna try more and after that month I bought more of uh, designer squash so I think I have like 10 of these ones now and of course the next period started and uh, so this this was the first uh, thing and why I changed this designer's gouache to something else was because there was still one thing which I didn't quite enjoy but which was uh, when the designer's gouache it's uh, when you put it on the paper and when it's dry and you want to put another layer it reactivates the previous layer just like watercolor because like if you paint with watercolor and then you put water it will react with the previous layer so it was the same with designer squash and i was like i wish there was like something that could be like acrylics but not really and <laughs> then the new discovery like another course mate had also this um, color so this brand so this is like Holbein acryla gouache and um, <laughs> it's acryla gouache so basically acrylic gouache and this is the best thing I have si since then I think I'm using this for a year more than a year and um, it's basically like designer's gouache but it's uh, when it's dry you can't reactivate it so basically you can put the new layer and the new layer won't affect the previous one and the finish of this color it's matte it's uh, quite vibrant it's the color you mixed is the same you get and also it's um yeah there are so many beautiful shades and sometimes i use paint straight from the tube. I know I'm, I'm one of these persons. Sometimes I mix the colors but uh, for these ones they are such a pretty colors already so sometimes I keep them as they are. So this is like my journey. I, um, I have <laughs> a bunch of them now. Uh, I have some acrylics here as well but basically these are acrylic gouache and I use uh, Holbein uh, acrylic gouache and I also use Turner I feel Turner is like I don't know why everyone is in fan of acrylic gouache actually Turner is super similar and it's really good as well and they are bought from Japan and nice good quality but uh, I also I'm I think I will return to my watercolor watercolor phase because I got uh, where is it yeah I got this small mini small tube from Daniel Smith super expensive watercolor paints and this is a uh, lunar black and this is super granulating watercolor and when I bought it I was like hmm, maybe it will granulate a little bit and it was such a beautiful effect so this is the thing I cannot achieve with uh, gouache so I was thinking maybe I will go back to the watercolor phase at some point and try to use granulating watercolors or even try handmade watercolors because there are some some things in each of the paint mediums that are super unique and cannot be achieved in any different medium so I also got some of the paint tubes from my uh, my friend. She swapped basically art supplies with me. So I have some really interesting paints and I will try them out at some moment. I have like American Journey paints, uh, watercolor paints, and I have also some Daniel Smith. And I know Daniel Smith is quite expensive, so I'm just I'm super grateful that I can try them out. So, yes, this is my 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 medium journey. I basically I tried uh, gouache, then I tried watercolor, then I went to big phase of oil painting, then I did a little bit of acrylic, uh, and then I went to designer's gouache, and now I'm in acrylic uh, gouache. So such a big journey, but 
what I feel is really good is that um, you learn something in each medium and you learn the specifics of the medium and I feel it's really useful to know a lot of mediums because when you have like specific commission or specific work you want to do you know exactly which medium to pick and now I think in my life it's the next uh, stage, <laughs> next moment because what I'm doing I'm mixing mediums together so maybe you have seen something from me before but basically I'm using gouache then I'm using acrylics as well I'm kind of mixing them together I am using acrylic markers and crayons water soluble crayons colored pencils so trying to take advantage of the each medium I have because as I said before each of them is unique in a way and I don't want to like have anything against um, each of them i hope you enjoyed this week's video if you are painting or drawing or illustrating please write down below which is your favorite medium to use and uh, which is the medium you you tried and you didn't like it at all because i'm super curious and i feel each of us have different uh, memories about each of them i wish you Good day, evening, morning, wherever you are, and I see you next time, next uh, Saturday, yes, you, because I'm trying to upload every Saturday. Do you see this cloud? And it looks really beautiful. Sorry, I, I am <laughs> super distracted right now, but look at this baby. Is it? I hope it's focusing. And it looks amazing, it's so beautiful. And do you see like the sil silver lining up there? It's like, what's going on? Like, <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, sorry, I, I was, <laughs> I, I distracted myself basically because like, this is such a rare thing, you know? Like from this light cloud to like that, kind of darkness wait I think it will rain I think thunder will come and it will rain um, yeah it's completely grey on the other side and completely white on that side so what's going on? <laughs> do you see it here? it's raining it's actually raining quite a lot. Okay, well... <laughs> this is beautiful.